Hey everyone, so it's a little bit uh, weird lighting right now, it's kind of in the evening time, but I wanted to start this and I'll probably finish up in the morning when the kids are still asleep, but you see I have all these tubs up here and I do need to label them, yes, everyone's always <laughs> label, label, and I was using my Fomemo uh, little label maker to do some other things, but I have these two bags that I have had for a long time, they came from Scrapbook Expos, which I haven't been to an expo since, I want to say I lived in Georgia and I went to the Duluth one. Um, which is, they call it the Atlanta one, but it's really Duluth. Um, so that's at least, what, f five years ago, maybe six years ago. So both of these bags. So I'm going to bring those down. And I'm sure we're going to find some fun things in there. And then also, I want to show you guys, I rearranged some stuff. I put these guys here. These are all, um, Crafts Companion, like the larger dies sets that I have. And, um, Anna Griffin, I obviously need to move that. And I brought this in from the garage, which I don't know if I'm going to keep it here. It's really tall. I mean, it makes it super tall because of the stamp tower that we have here, plus all this. But there's such fun things in here. I'm like, why didn't I bring this in sooner? And it's just been sitting in the garage for a long time. Like, this has, like, crayons, like the kind you would play with, like, really pretty, like, ombre ink pads, which will be real fun. Um, it does have some... So this is another thing I probably need to go through with you guys in D-Stash. All I did was bring it in from the garage. I didn't even look at it, really. But look at all these punches... Things like that. I think today we'll really have time maybe to go through those two bags. So as, as I go through them, I also have to put that stuff away, right? So that adds to the complication um, of what I'm doing there. I don't even know what's in here. This is like jewelry making stuff. Oh, and this is all my, um, not all of them, but most of my Red Rubber Cafe stamps and other fun stamps that are like a little fancier. So um, I've been changing some things up, but I do want to get into those bags. So we will check those out, and then hopefully I'll have a de-stashing soon in my store energy, because there are a lot of things I do need to... I'm piling them up here, right? I'm putting them in bags, um, and I need to get them going. So a lot of the paper pads and other things that I went through, but so let's get those down. These are the kind of tubs like where I put those pink things that are now holding other Anna Griffin stuff and Crafts and Paint and stuff. Look at this. My apron fell from up to the top. Um, this is the kind of tub I went through, and I'm like, what the heck is this? This is my little memory lane. No, what's it called? Kiwi Lane? Someone always... Kiwi Lane Designs. So these are little templates that are super cute and they help you make like a background for your card. So I have like this little swirly... Not swirly, but like like hill design. This one has... These are like more fun designs that you can just cut little things that you could tuck into your card. And then these are the kind of ideas. So Kiwi Lane's a really sweet company. I'm not getting rid of those. They were not cheap. <laughs> but um, see, border accessory sets. So they're saying use those little plastic things like templates, sorry. And then come through and cut your paper out, right? Go ahead and use the templates to put lines on your paper. Cut it with scissors. And look how cute. Now you have this little layout or, you know, really adorable. I don't use them that much. If you guys have these and you want me to do a tutorial or a review of them, I will do that. The tiny templates are more like for cards. That's really what I have, like these... I think are more of the tiny templates, yeah. Tiny bracket, and then they have, you know, this, again, tiny templates. is more of the thing I was doing, because that was more what I was into, and then they came with little rings, and as you can see, I totally use them right now, I never use them. And then this is uh, for a mini album, basically, as you can see, it says mini. So, really cute, I think the company is still in business, Kiwi Lane. So this is one thing I'll, you know, just want to show you guys, look at this. Grand Shape Abilities, have I ever used this? No. Gorgeous. I need to definitely use this more often. Um, this is Joanne's coupon, uh, not receipt in there. This is funny right here. This cuddle bug. So I brought in two of those things. Well, I showed you the one that I put on top of my stamp tower, but I actually brought in two of them. The other one, I have two full iris things of embossing uh, folders. And you guys already know one of my tubs up here is already embossing folders. And I have more embossing folders than um, this, uh, my credenza. So I'm like, I... I need another embossing folder like I need a hole in the head. Seriously. So you know what I'll do with these? Actually, I'll put them in that con that organizer. You guys asked me where I got my embossing folder organizer. It's like a black organizer. I think I had picked out Joanne's a long time ago. It's Darice brand. So if you want to look that up. D-A-R-I-C-E. Darice. Joanne receipt. Look at this. More embossing folders. These are cool. I will put that also in there. These Tim Holtz ones. Because another thing else in here is embossing. This is all um, dies. Look at this. These are all Spellbinders dies that I have never, ever, ever, ever used. Um, but I do want to use them. Whenever I look for my <laughs> nesting dies, I'm like, where are my nesting dies? Look, there's... Well, they're here, which I didn't even know. So I will definitely label this when I pop it up. But this is the kind of thing I'm going to go through and pop up on top. 
uh, I do have the bags down here. This bag is so old, look at it, it's falling apart. This might have come from the Orlando show because it has Minnie Mouse on there. Um, but let's get to these bags and arranging a little just better. Real quick, this is the case I was talking about. And actually, I just realized I have two of the same ones, so I already put one into the stash. Um, but I just put them away. The ones I just told you guys I would do, I would put them away. So look at this. But this thing holds like the standard A2 size ones. Obviously, I can put more in there. And then these are bigger than A2, so they're just in here. But um, I can probably put these in with my other tubs, so that way they fit. But this is the Doris folder I was telling you guys about. It holds a lot of them, which is really nice. Okay, like I said, I probably wait till morning. Um, so I'm in my pajamas, and hopefully I don't cast too much of a shadow. You know what? Let me move this a little bit. Okay, sorry, okay. I just wanted to rearrange a little bit. So um, what's funny is last night when I started working, I was drinking wine, and I told my husband, I don't know, we were talking about something while I was kind of going through things, and then I was like, you know what? Maybe I should stop filming, because who knows what I'm going to say. So today we have coffee, and um, that'll probably be better. All right, so I can see already I have a ton of flowers. These are really, really big. I don't know, you know, these are definitely from AliExpress. Um, well, no, okay, I take that back. Some of these are, but most of these are going to be from um, Scrapbook Expos because they always have really great deals. And so I end up buying tons of packs of flowers, so like all these guys. So these just need to be put somewhere better. That's kind of why I put them in this bag, so that they'll be together, but they're not quite where I need them to be. So I will put those somewhere. Um, oh, centers. See, some flower centers here. Oh, some of these are falling apart. I don't know what they're made out of, but I can see that um, they're like busted right here. Oh my gosh, <laughs> some more of these. So I had told you guys for Busted Out, I wanted to bring out like eyelets and brads and stuff like that. I know I have more of them and I did find some recently in the last de-stash video or organized video. Um, but these are a ton of buttons and, or brads and um, eyelets and stuff. I'll put this here. And then this little one, I, I didn't buy this that long ago. I remember this came from um, HSN and I believe. And it's one of those sets that you work with the buttons and the stamps. And um, this one is very cute though. So I know recently with Crafters Companion they had a box and people either loved it or they completely hated it. And I thought it was kind of random. But this one's super cute. The stamps that go along with it. A little sets of flowers. These are not my favorite. And to be honest, uh, well, I was going to say I'll probably give them away. But you know what? People might like them. They're like foam, but they're not foam like Crafts Companion foam. They're foam like thicker. Super cute. Just, I don't know how I would use them. So, um, I'll put those in the de-stash. Here it is. I was like, I, I know I have more dresses for those <laughs> Prima dolls. So this definitely will go in with the Prima dolls and the stamp tower. These are just some background stamps. And to be honest, I think I have two sets of these. So this can be de-stashed. I know I have two sets of those. So that's the second set. A roll of washi can go with my washi. A little leaf punch for some reason. I have tons of leaf punches, so this can be de-stashed. Okay, now we're getting to the stuff where I know this, oh, this Smashbook. Um, I still have some Smashbooks, but I have a lot of washi that goes with it, so I will de-stash that too. Okay, so this is where I start getting to things that had to do with the Expos. Um, apparently a bow making set. I will put this with my We Are Memory Keepers gadgets. This is really cute. I think I got this at some cheap little store. It's to make uh, wire jewelry, and I used to like making things like this, but this one's like for little kids, so it's kind of juvenile, but it's like a jig, so the jig part works, so that's great. It has all the little pieces, and then you have, uh, what they're using plastic jewelry wire. Well, it's not really wire, but it's plastic. So you're supposed to use these with me uh, metal, so I'll put that with my beading stuff. All right, here we go. Let me see if I should get a little bit closer. It is hard for me to know how to use my camera because I am, there we go, sitting at a weird angle. Okay, so this doesn't have much in it, but it must be information that I wanted to keep. So yeah, um, Crazy Creations Copic. That's who, I, that's right. So Crazy Creations makes all kinds of cute things. I hope they're still in business. It's Crazy Creations with K's. And um, so I would take the Copic classes with them. So, you know, we learn how to shade and, you know, how to mix colors because that's obviously something we probably wouldn't do these colors. Let me get a little bit closer. Is that closer? Am I casting a huge shadow? Oh, sorry. Um, and then this one is even more dramatic, I guess. I don't know what we were doing. And then they give us some extra 
paper. I don't remember doing any of this, but this is good information to have. So um, I will keep that in a different spot, not in that plastic bag. So I have that plastic bag. It probably had some Copics in it because that's kind of how you take the class. And then it had the stamp for that dress. So um, that's kind of how they package things. Oh my gosh, look at this. Oh, this, this would be good to put where I need it to be. This is a whole pack of ultra smooth premium white cardstock crafters companion. So this is funny because what happens is during that same class, they had either given stuff away or they tell you this is what you should use. And this was probably eight or nine years ago. And this is what they were um, telling us to use. So I will put this here with the rest of my crafters companion uh, papers. And then they do have Nina paper. This is from, I think rubber, cafe was selling them like this. Maybe Crazy Creations. They always have a booth plus they give classes. So this is more Nina Acid Free uh, Classic Crest Solar White. Ten sheets for four dollars. So again back in the day when things were more expensive because not everybody had them or knew where to get them. So this is obviously a piece of extra there. I mean look at this. This is something I worked on myself at home and look how much prettier that is. You guys know I just did that video on uh, Annabelle Spensley stamps and that's fine. But look at the hair. But the thing is, it depends on the style of the hair that makes it easy. And look at her little dress. Oh my gosh, I did a great job on these. <laughs> and then I wrote down the colors that we used for the hair. So if you're curious, I believe it's for the hair. I don't think it's the skin color. It's E18, 19, and 17, and then 11, 13, and 15 for this one. I believe this one's probably the same as that. And again, you color so deep that it goes through to the back. So I will keep that separate. Okay, so this is another class where they, we learned coloring. And it was an apron that they gave you, an apron stamp. So again, I can uh, unpack this. What else is in here? Some ribbon. Oh, they were going to teach you how to color ribbon with your Copics. Uh, really cute stamp. Kind of interesting design <laughs> to work on. And again, we we're working on our blending. Okay. Oh. Oh, this was another class kit. Because I can see I used the... Um, Fabric Castell Pit Artist anyway, brush um, pen. little pack of like flowers, and this is basically just flower border that you can cut up, and then they teach you how to use it. Um, I don't know if this is the same class. I feel like these things are very varied because there's some crepe paper. I think this was on how to make flowers, and then they gave us that pen for some reason. So to make flowers out of the um, let me see. Let me grab this here. Ah, oh, see, there's my ticket to get into the class. Let's see what's in here. So yeah, I suppose we this little flower and then we added like gems to it and then it was a brad. I don't know. It's okay. Um, and these are just a uh, ribbon that we end up cutting up and then you put a pop dot or that sticky stuff on the back. So it makes it into a, an embellishment. Um, I think she showed us how to make flowers that have rolled. To roll flowers and all kinds of other stuff. There's a bunch of stuff in here that I'm supposed to have worked on. And obviously didn't get to, because that's what happens in the classes. A lot of times they pack the class so much that you end up not doing a lot of what's in there, but the information's there. Oh, look at this. Some tape. Oh my gosh, I hope it still works. So I will take those things apart and put them where they should be. Here's another pit artist. Apparently I really like these after probably taking that class, so I got a brown one. Like I said, all of this stuff is... I haven't been to a scrapbook expo in probably five years, so it's really old. Um, oh, Maya Road. I have some cute embellishments here. Little flowers. I don't, I don't know. These are hard flowers, like pins, which, you know, you can add into your designs. What is this? Decoupage bears. Again, I always find things there that normally we didn't find, so now we find a lot of decoupage. But back in the day, when I go to Starbook Expo, that's like where you go to find some cool stuff, right? Some kits, like this kit from, um... Who is this? I do not know. Authentic paper. Oh, authentic. Okay, I've heard of them. So anyway, their paper is kind of like textured is what I've noticed. Most of their papers. So really cute. And then it has a 6x6 six six paper pack in here. And it was probably, you know, 10 bucks or 15 bucks. Well, maybe less than that. This is a cute one from um, Jenny Bolin Studio. Another little cute craft kit with little bows. Adorable. So I'll put this where I have my kits in the credenza. I'll take it apart though, because obviously some of those things are not... Another, probably another class item. <laughs> little gelato pen that, or not pen, but crayon that 
found its way into the bag there. Um, what else do we got? Okay, so this must be some stuff I bought. No, this is actually uh, Button Farm, I believe. Uh, if they're still around, they have really cute stuff. They also have a monthly kit. Yeah, the Button Farm. And this was a class I took. Look how cute. I actually made the front, and then I didn't put anything in it, because obviously it's been in this bag. Look at this flower. Adorable. And, and that's as far as I got, <laughs> as far as decorating. So again, we're supposed to come in here with the rest of the stuff from your kit that you were in class and just junk it out. I mean, there's all kinds of chipboard pieces, paper, everything else that goes with it. The classes are so much fun just because you're around a bunch of people, just like here when you guys come here or like on Crafters TV, um, we go in there and we like to chit chat. Oh, oh, this is just the lace that I had bought, again, AliExpress. Kind of like the lace I was showing you earlier where you can cut the, the butterfly away or cut the flower away. So you can use it in different ways. Um, glitz, love you madly rubber stamps. Apparently this is just a bunch of numbers and stuff and this is really cute but to be honest I have lots of stamps like this like I would rather sell this or destash it nice and put it in this package like this than open it up and decide if I want to use it so I will destash that. Um, cute little paper set from Cartabella and this is just two bags and you already see all the stuff I already brought out of here so that needs to go with my six by six paper pads. Some close to my heart ribbon not even enough to do anything with so I'll just take it out of the bag and put those with something else. Oh my gosh, this is where we start getting to the bottom of the bag and it's like, what is all this stuff? Button farm but, uh, flowers, so I'll put that with the kit. Obviously, that was, we're in that same kit there. Adorable. Uh, foam tape. Oh, this is... What is going on here? Yeah, and it's still sticky, so that's great. Look how thick that is. So I'll put that somewhere else with my adhesives. What do we got going on? Oh, for some reason I had to get a stylish little uh, <laughs> keychain kind of wristlet. Let me put this here and see what's at the very bottom of this bag. Super cute. I always like getting little stamps like this. Like this is a basic gray uh, stamp set at buck seventy-five. And look at the little guys. So I'll put this in my stamp tower. Cute little metal charms. And again, these are several years old and they are not tarnished or anything like that. I have a set. Um, oh, I was going to show it to you guys um, that I just found when I was doing some other destashing from. Um, what's her name? Uh, Anna Griffin. And they were rusty and just really bad. And I don't know if you call it rust, I guess oxidized. I don't know what this is. It's a chipboard piece and it looks like it belongs to something. So maybe this goes to that button farm set. I have a feeling because it kind of looks like the same, but who knows? Um, okay. That's nothing. Some kind of glues. I had, to, I had to get these. They were a great price. Apparently I've never used them. So I will put these with my adhesives with the other stuff. I can't see what's in the very bottom of this bag because there's just stuff, you know, tossed in here. And that's it. The rest is like hand wipes for some reason, I guess. It's not, you know, as you're walking around, clean up your hands. And this, I was like, what is this piece of plastic? It's uh, little beads. Oh, these are cute. I don't know if they were that dark when I bought them. Um, sorry. They're little cupcakes. I don't know if you can see that. Super adorable. They're heavy. And then a pair of cat earrings. And I think these were free because I remember <laughs> not buying these. Um, at one of the booths, I guess. Oh, jeez. I was like, okay, that's bag done. No, it's not, because I have this whole bag. Okay, I know this stuff right here is from a company that the lady, she runs a, um, like, floor arrangement business. Mona Me Gabby. Like, my friend Gabby, M-O-N-A-M-I and G-A-B-B-Y. I think she's out of L.A., but she started realizing, like, a lot of the stuff that she sells in her business for floral arrangements and stuff like that with the fake flowers, fresh flowers, just a floral business, you know, um, people like to get and use it for other things. So like this stuff is a big piece of mesh, but she would cut it up in pieces and show you how to use it in a different way. Right. So usually you might make a big bow with this or do some weird stuff. So that's kind of what she did. So she's like, so I just get it. I cut it down and then she sells it basically like not that expensive. I mean, I don't know what I was going to do with these. I do know what I was going to do with these. I'll show you real quick um, in a second. Uh, some little beads and they were, you know, $3 basically a little less than three bucks. But she always runs show specials like this stuff. Obviously, you guys have seen this before, and you cut it in strips or pieces, however you want to use it. So I just basically bought a bunch of stuff um, that you wouldn't expect. This crepe paper is the best for making flowers. They're so pretty. But again, I hadn't taken her class in a while. I don't remember how we made the flowers. Um, 
this is from the class that I took with her. I took several classes with her, but this one was to make a little basket. And so I have a lot of, ton of stuff left over. I mean, she just gives you a ton of stuff. And then this is another project you're supposed to work on was to make a little um, notebook. So she just gave us a little book and then like paper to cover that and then the stuff to go on there. And then you're supposed to add a bunch of stuff to junk it out, which obviously I didn't get around to. And then we're supposed to make like a little loop for a pen holder. So it came with a pen and tons of pretty, just pretty things. But let me grab the, the bag. Sorry, so basically we made this and it's super cute. So it was a metal bag and then it has all these things. This flower popped off and of course I haven't stuck it back on. And this is where I fell in love with Beacons 3-in-1 because that's what we used. And she says, you know, she uses hot glue, but Beacons is amazing. And so we put the little lace, two layers of lace, a layer of these little bolitas, whatever, these little pom-pom type thing. All the flowers, do, 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 put that on there. So we made flower, like beads, bows with that stuff I showed you guys there. Really pretty. And so she tied it with jute and some of that bead. And I mean, it looks really pretty. But right now it's holding beading stuff. So that was that project from that class. I am sorry about putting shadows on here. I'm totally casting a shadow. I can see that. Am I still in the frame? I don't want to be in the frame because I'm wearing pajamas and whatever. <laughs> okay, some more of the flowers. Um, again, I'll just put these with the rest of them and I have to find a spot. Okay, I bought this at Tuesday morning, I think, or Big Lots. I don't know why, but it was a bag of thimbles and I think thimbles are so cute and they're so cute. Some of them are in there. Some of them are broken. Some of them are like from Hawaii, from all these different places. I think they're adorable. So I need to put this with my needle craft stuff and then that'll be fine. Um, throw away the ones that are broken, obviously. More craft stuff. So this is from a class. And look at the paper. I mean, it's so beat up now. Like, But this is the kind of thing we did in that class. Like you rip pieces of paper off and you did whatever you're gonna do with it. And then those are the layout examples. So I need to look at this and see what's going on. <laughs> like, I don't know what happened here. Oh, okay, so this is from my Melissa Francis class, or one of them, because I took a bunch of classes with her. I love her. Um, and I think the project, I was going to say it's not in here, because <laughs> I can tell it's not in here. This is just the extra stuff, like a pad that has, like, punch-outs and things, and, um, like, really thick canvas paper and buttons and lace and fun things like that. So the project itself is up in my room, actually. Um, I think this one made, like, a little home decor item. So I'll have to look through that and see if any of that's worth keeping some kind of, oh, there's a Lego piece, so I'll give it to Dorian. Uh, straws. I will put that with my food stuff. Um, little tape roll. I'm going to put this stuff in the D-stash. Um, this was a sample. Every time you go there, they always give you some kind of bag with fun things in it. Like, this is one of the bags, I think. And so they give you samples of stuff. So this is just a little sample of tape dots. Um, let's see here. Oh, this is a Miss Francis kit that I never got to. And it makes a little garland that says welcome, which is adorable. This is the kind of thing I would hang like in here, maybe on my, um, metal rack here or something, because where else am I going to put this really, to be honest? Um, uh, but, oh, this one just has her glitter or yeah, this one just has her glitter. So I did a haul. I haven't released the haul yet, um, from Melissa Francis and she sells glass glitter, um, which I didn't buy any cause I have some. But uh, that's one of the things she's known for. A little Myrod acetate or plastic. Um, this is, oh, interesting. I thought this was a mini album. It is a mini album, but it says sheer scroll frame album. I guess that means mini album, but interesting. And then here, it looks like it has shapes that you can maybe trace and cut. That's cute. Um, a box of just chipboard pieces, flowers, um... I don't know what this is here. Really pretty buttons. Really, really pretty buttons. So I'll take that apart and maybe take it out of the box because that way I can put things away. Um, Farmhouse Paper Company. That's another, I think this, where, I don't know if I got this from the people that are actually called Farmhouse, but really pretty paper. Oh, I love that. The wood sunflower seed company. Really cute paper. I'll put that with my six by six papers. Yeah, so it is, I was going to say, I think Farmhouse had their own booth. I And I won a ra that's what happened. I won a uh, raffle. When you walk in, they you, you give them your ticket, whatever, and then they raffle stuff off. And I never win anything, but I think I won like 30 or 40, 50 bucks. I can't remember. 
from this people so that's how I got all these things pretty much got them for free so that's nice so this is the mini album this is basically the same mini album that was in the button farm kit the one I was showing you there but button farm ran the uh, the show I guess so this is basically the same kit and then what else do I got here SEI sticky notepad assortment. I have not opened this and I have tons of sticky pads, so I will put that in the stash. I love SEI, they have great stuff. Um, again, I think a lot of these things are just samples. So, whenever they give you your goodie bag at the beginning, like there'll be like a whole uh, mini album in there, all kinds of stuff, fun things that, just for going to the show. Um, obviously, you have to buy a ticket to get in, but it's a photo glue stick. I'm probably dried out by now. The Spectrum Noir pen. Ooh, look at the shape. You guys remember that? Old school. Um, this was from a class and basically all we were learning was techniques so after I was done this is all I left with with gel medium and glaze and stuff like that from Gelato the Faber-Castell and then they taught us how to just make cute little things you know I don't remember anything from it now that's where that orange pen probably came from that crayon so I had to just try it different stuff you know this is cardboard like for embellishments this is a piece of cardboard that we kind of colored and ripped it a little bit and then stamped on it. Kind of cool. I mean, it was fun, right? Now that I look at it, I'm like, hmm, I don't remember anything. But <laughs> this over here, um, a cute little kit. This is just from Michael's. I was going to say, I probably bought this not that long ago, but I will de-stash that because it's adorable and I have three or four or five different types of those. And this is the Winnie's Walls 406 Memory Kit. Again, whenever you go, like, this SEI kit was three bucks. You know, they always have all these things that are super cheap or, or show special and stuff like that. So, that is that. I made some room up top. I'm going to put these things where they belong, right? Like, the different types of items. And thanks for watching, guys. Um, the D-Stash... <sighs> Will happen sometime this week, I think, as far as like if I sell anything, I'll put it up on my store and be, but I'll have a video for you guys and let you know, okay? So thanks for watching, and I'll see you at the next one. Bye now.